Sean Casey, you wanted action. It's starting. The move's starting to be made, and we're here for all of it. This from John Heyman. We showed you this before the break. Jorge Lopez to the Twins, a nice pickup. He's reporting that. And Jeff Passan of ESPN giving us a little context on the deal. Baltimore gets four prospects, including Cade Povich, a lefty starter. He's a standout in this deal. Third round pick in the 2021 draft as we welcome you back inside. Jason Stark, Sean Casey, Mark DeRosa, I'm Lauren Shahadi. I look at that, and I don't know much about the prospects. I think that's a haul, d -Row, yes? Absolutely. For Jorge Lopez, I think for me, looking at him, he has been really good. Baltimore's had one of the better bullpens the entire season. Minnesota's just got to get better. They got to get more arms, more firepower to put this division away because it's theirs to have if they want it. We've been waiting for the White Sox to step up all year and they haven't done it. Maybe it's Minnesota's time. So you piece Jorge Lopez with a, a, a Emilian, uh, Emiliano Pagan and Johan Duran, and you start to kind of understand where Rocco Baldelli has some more weapons at his disposal. What do you think? You're going to see Yeah, they about. had to address pitching. Uh, their yeah. pitching was really been starting to sputter. It was so good early. Um, and this is, a, this is an excellent pickup. Uh, this is a guy who's had a tremendous year. He clearly lengthens the back of that pen and yet I also think about it from the Orioles standpoint we were wondering if they would really sell they're selling they're and they selling. took a guy who had a career ERA of five before this year who they fixed and turned him into four prospects I tell you that it's they're still in the process yeah I think this is a win too I mean this guy's got some nasty stuff he really does I mean it's a I think it's a win for the twins but the Orioles, I think they, 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 I don't think they thought they were going to be where they are right now. They're, they're, they're 500. None of us like, did, right? Yeah, I think they're a couple years away. They know it. And the, the Mancini, they got a couple guys back too and that. So they're they're loading up and they're going to be good for years to come. It's so tough to gauge prospects. And you always say this, Dero. You're not a huge fan of safekeeping prospects when you don't know exactly what they're going to amount to. I, I mean, you want to put trust in the fact that your scouting department's on top of it. I mean, I certainly sit there and watch the videos nightly of prospects <laughs> go down my wormhole, but obviously there are four low-level prospects. I mean, you have to put trust in the fact that you just turned Jorge Lopez, a reclamation project, into a very good reliever for your team with two years of control, and you flip them for four prospects. Feel good about that. What if one of them turns into, I know they're all pitchers, but... That's how you do it with Jordan Alvarez. That's how you do it with Fernando Tatis Jr. You start to hopefully catch lightning in a bottle. Yeah, and that Orioles system is one of the best in the game now. Um, they've got so many guys coming. It is, uh, as we've been saying, they're a couple of years away, but they've got a base now of good young players to, that would scare anybody in the East.